I'm angry, I'm cynical, I'm pissed off right now. I'm pissed at the pharmaceutical industry. I'm pissed at the experiences I've had with doctors over my adult life. Having this problem? Here, take this medication. It's one thing that I'm kind of glad that I sort of took to heart some of the things my grandmother would say, even though she was so nasty in so many areas, there's actually a few things I learned from her that were good. Because if I wouldn't have, have taken these things into consideration, I would probably be on 12 medications right now. Because I would have listened to the doctors. Oh, well, here, take this. And here, take this. Here, take this. Zyprexa from 2011 to 2013. One of the, the worst experiences I'd had. The worst was trying to get off of it. But, you know, while I was on it, I almost killed myself three times. These weren't just passing suicidal ideations. These were serious planning and all that. Because it, it made me forget who I am. I lost who I was. I wasn't creative anymore. Oh yes, it totally got rid of the panic at the cost of who I was. I was trying to be what I thought everyone else wanted me to be, which is an impossible task. You know. And over the past, you know, year and a half now, all these people telling me, no, no, you don't want to be fat. No, no, you don't want to be fat. It would be bad. It could cause all these things. You don't want to be diabetic, do you? Well, I've been very careful about that sort of thing. I don't even have, I'm not even close, close to being pre-diabetic levels on my glucose. But I check quite often just in case. I'm not sitting there stuffing donuts in my mouth. I don't sit there and have some sort of dessert every day. Shit, I think I might have a dessert like once a month. I don't eat prepackaged junk foods, potato chips. I eat a lot of dairy. A lot of yogurt, a lot of cheeses. But I don't sit there and, and eat all this prepackaged crap. I try to stay away from tons of preservatives. And then it ends up the thing that was giving me health problems that it's debatable whether they were already really serious health problems or, you know, whether or not they would develop into serious health problems. It was a medication for heartburn. But I had to get told by different doctors, oh, no, don't take Tums. Here, take this, it'll work so much better. Just like the psychiatrist, no, don't do weed. This Zyprexa or Seroquel or Lithium or, or Elevil or Welbutrin or, uh, 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 I mean, just this long list of all these different medications they've had me on over the years. Oh, these will work so much better. Don't do weed. Don't do weed, don't be fat, don't do this, don't do that. Here, take these medications, here, have a big handful. And then when you go to watch TV, you know, uh, on a number of programs for a number of different demographics, every, 
you know, sixth commercial is some commercial for some, some sort of new pharmaceutical drug. Happy faces, beautiful scenery. Side effects may include death, stroke, heart attack, permanent muscle damage. But not to worry, everyone's happy. It just makes me disgusted with, with the industry. And there are some good doctors out there. But there are also so many that are just seem to be drug pushers. They're drug salespeople. You know, when, when I went in for, for these cramps and such, when, when I was asked what medications that I'm on, and I tell them I'm on this one, how come none of them actually did any sort of research to say, oh, hey, have you considered that it might be this? No, I have to find out some other way. They can't possibly try to get me off of, off of any medications. Oh, he's only on one. There's no need to try to get him off just one. like uh, pharmaceutical drugs. They're like uh, Lay's potato chips. No one can can take just one, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm pissy, I'm cynical, I'm angry, and, you know... Yeah, like I said, I'm glad that I actually took to heart some of the things that my grandmother would... some of her values. It's amazing to me that I'd ever say something like that. It's going to make me kind of wonder, you know, wonder about some other things. Like I do think about how she she did not like kids. She did not want to be around kids. And I could never understand it. But now I do. <laughs> and I've talked about it in some other videos, you know. It's it's you know, kids are people that have not had the life experience to know what's fucked up and what isn't. You know, yeah, they can follow a set of rules, but that's not the same thing. So, it's just kind of weird. Um, But for quite a while, I, I don't know how I'm going to get out of this mindset of having a, a extreme negativity towards the pharmaceutical industry and the medical industry in general. Because of these aspects of it. Then I think about my mom who had this, her feet are fucked up because of what doctors did to her. She had this bunionectomy thing and, and her, her, her toes were, her big toe and her toe next to it were like overlapping on top of each other. So... They decide, let's cut some tendons. And now her toes are like this, and they've been, I mean, way out there. And they've been like that for, for years. She's, she, she's having more and more of a hard time walking. What are doctors' answers to that? Well, let's break all of her toes, fuse them, break her ankle, fuse it. That's their answer. Oh, we have the best doctors in the world in, in the United States. Oh, yes. If you're rich. My mom's on this huge handful of medications. I don't even want to go on about it. It, it, it just, it makes me, it just, it sickens me. <laughs>